Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we disable the default error page for a Spring Boot. And also we'll see how to customize the default error page. That is the white label error page. So let's see the example. So here I am using STS ID. So go to the files, go to the new. Here go to the new create a Spring Starter Project. And here we'll create a Spring Boot error. This is the project name. So click on next here we will be using spring web then click on next and click on finish so our uh, project will be created so here we go spring error page uh, spring boot error this is now the next thing here what we will do so here we will use the jsp page jsp pages so here what you have to do in order to use the JSP, we have to add the Jasper dependency. So here I have copied this dependency rightly copy that and uh, below this spring boot starter wave you have to paste that JSP. Let's save this. So Tom get embed Jasper will be added. Then next what you have to do is uh, in this here you can see SRC. Then in the main right click on this go to the new here uh, we have to create uh, the folder with the name web app and also here in the web app go to the new go to the folder here we have to create web hyphen inf and here I will create one more folder with the name pages so here we have to do uh, in a small repository name PAGS pages and here we will create one JSP file that is home.jsp enter. Now here we can open this with open with the text editor. Here is home.jsp I will write here here h1 welcome that's it let's save this now next uh, we'll create controller so right click on this go to the new go to the package and here we'll create one package with the name controller here if i expand this so here you can see we have created controller package right click on this go to the new here we'll create home controller right Now here we'll annotate with add that controller. Then here I will write public string home page and here we'll use add that get mapping here home and we'll return home. So what is the name of our JSP file? SRC main web app YNF pages inside that we have home.jsp it is opening in other here we have home.jsp so we have to give that name so controller is ready and this JSP page also ready so in the application dot properties here we have to give this view resolver properties so let me copy that copy and go here in the application dot property so this we have to give so this is the location of our jsp pages so web inf slash pages if i here so in the src main web app web inf here you can see our folder pages in that we have home.js and the extension of jsp widget is dot jsp so we have to give the prefix and suffix suffix means the extension of for this page and prefix is the location right this is done now let us run this application so here i will go to spring boot error application control f11 run as spring boot application click on ok so go to the browser and here uh, so default port number is 8080 so and I will give you here a 
as home. So here you can see welcome is coming from this home. Now what I will do if I go to the browser and here I will give uh, instead of home I will give hi. So here you can see this white label error page is come. Now how can we disable this? So to disable that we can use this server.error.whitelevel enabled as a false. So let me copy this and go here and in the application.properties we have to give here a server.error.whitelevel enabled as a false. Now again so if I stop this application and if I run again so what I will do I will go here so earlier uh, if we give here uh, in valid URL we are getting the uh, white level error page now if I go here and click on enter here you can see white level error page is gone instead of that we are getting this localhost page can't be found this uh, HTTP localhost rate 80 high earlier it was white level error page but here we are getting this localhost page can't be found if I go to home this is a very valid URL so we are getting welcome if I go here and give invalid URL you can see that the localhost page can be found so we can also customize this error page so how to do that let's see so uh, let me stop this our application so if you want to customize the error page what you have to do you have to create one page so here i will create one page with the name error underscore page right so this is our page now here we'll show a message to the user h1 that is some thing went wrong and below that we'll give the link to the home page so a go to home page and here we'll give home so error page is given now we have to create uh, uh, in the application here we have to create one more controller go to the new go to the class here i will create custom error controller and we have to implement here a error controller right and we have to annotate with add the right controller and here we will create public public string error page at the red gate mapping slash error and return so what was the name here we have given error page so in the pages you can see that error underscore page so here uh, I forgot to write here extension rightly refactor rename cancel right click refactor rename here what happened let me create page so go to the new go to the file error underscore page dot jsp now it is created so let me copy that and right click open with the text editor paste here let's save this now let's delete this file okay so here you can see error underscore page dot jsp is here so in the custom error here we have to give error underscore page let's save this and also in the application dot properties here we have to give this server dot error dot path and this error so why we are giving here error because in the 
custom error controller we have given here we have used the error error that's why we are taking here as error now let's save this so now run this our application control f11 it's running now go here so if i queue here home home is coming but if i give here invalid that is high here we can see something went wrong go to home page so we are go going to home page so anything you can give here a hello if i give hello so we can see something went wrong uh, go to the home page so this is a way we can disable and customize the default error page for spring boot application so for disabling the white level error page you can give this property that is this key value pair that is server.error.white level enabled false in the application dot property and if you want to customize the default error page that then what you can do we have to create a the custom error page so in this case we have created error underscore page then after that you have to create a control which is uh, implementing error controller and we have to create one method handling the error and after that we have to give the path here you have to specify the path server.error.path so this is the way we can disable the default error page and customize that so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel